All right, so let's run through another example, and we'll do the electron configuration, the noble gas shortcut, and then an orbital diagram. Uh, let's look at silver. So a neutral atom of silver has 47 electrons. Um, Alpha principle then, we're going to start with 1s and build our way up. So silver's electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, and then finally 4d. Now, if we look at the periodic table, let's look in the D block. What you can do is you can count over the number of places that silver is in the D block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how many electrons silver has in that final energy level and sublevel. So 4D9 would be the final piece of silver's electron configuration. Now the next thing we can do is we can do our noble gas shortcut. So again, looking at our periodic table, here's silver. We're going to work our way backwards from silver by atomic number 47, 46, work our way all the way back, and we come to 36. Krypton is the next noble gas down. So as it turns out, Krypton's electron configuration is the same as silver's all the way up to 4p6. 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p. So what we'll, what we'll do is that we'll replace all of this in the electron configuration with the symbol Kr in brackets. Now again, silver is not Krypton. The krypton is meant to, the symbol is meant to represent all these inner energy levels of electrons within the silver atom. So the electron, the, the noble gas shortcut configuration for silver, Kr, 5s2, 4d9. That's our noble gas shortcut for silver. <laughs> now finally here, let's do an orbital diagram for silver. And we'll do it, we'll do the orbital diagram just for the noble gas shortcut. So 5s, we have one orbital. 4d, we have, that's right, five orbitals. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to place them like this. You could place them in one single line down your paper if you were doing this. Now to configure the electrons, I'm going to move this all over a touch. Uh, to place the electrons, rather. 5s gets two electrons. There we go. And 4d will get nine electrons. So again, Hunt's rule, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll go back and double up. Six, seven, eight, nine electrons. There we go. So silver has one empty orbital space within the D sublevel, um, and all the rest of these are filled. But that would be an orbital diagram for silver for its electron configure uh, for its noble gas shortcut electron configuration. Okay.